Before the advent of polymerase chain reaction technology, or PCR, scientists grappled with the challenge of working with DNA in meaningful, efficient, and cost-effective ways. The struggle? Extremely small sample sizes and painstakingly slow processes. However, since the advent of PCR, working with DNA is now easier. PCR has enabled astonishing advancements in molecular biology that have far-reaching impacts in healthcare, agriculture, criminal justice, and other industries. But what is PCR? It is a scientific process used to amplify DNA samples from minuscule to substantial amounts, so the DNA can be properly analyzed and studied. There are a number of PCR methods. Today, we'll explore the four most common ones. First, there's standard PCR, the original method, which is fundamental for various applications in DNA-based testing, but lacks a way to quantify DNA amplification. Then there's quantitative PCR. This enables real-time DNA quantification and the need to rely on gel electrophoresis for quantification. Next is reverse transcription PCR, a process that converts RNA into DNA, offering insights into gene expression and viral RNA. Finally, there's multiplex PCR, a process capable of amplifying multiple DNA targets simultaneously. It excels in high throughput screening and pathogen identification. Each PCR process is unique. However, they all follow the same basic four steps. These include an initial cycle of denaturation, followed by annealing, then extension. The fourth step is repeated extensions to double DNA each round. The use of thermal cyclers is essential for all PCR processes. For those intrigued by the transformative power of PCR and its applications across various industries, read the full article on our website. And remember, you can add this podcast to your Spotify playlist for easy access to scientific insights on the go.